Diesel. You blasted me with an organic blast of organic energy or something. Do you hear? It's unbelievable. Before I came out, I heard the uh, warm-up comedian. We call him a comedian. He's not really a comedian. He's not really no, a he's comedian. Not, he's he's not. more just kind of a no. desperate, shouty man. <laughs> oh, wait, that's me. That's it? you. That's yeah, you. All right. yeah. Anyway, he says to the audience, blast Craig with an orgasmic blast of energy. And I'm thinking, he's using blast as a noun and a verb. <laughs> In the same sentence! We've got one of my favourite writers on the show tonight. He's going to think I'm a complete illiterate pig. Well, he was probably going to think that anyway. Well, that's so I think, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah, fine. But yeah. still. But still, that's not the point. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Good crowd, though, right? Great crowd. Yeah, Beautiful no, crowd. Yeah, I'll tell you yeah. what. I like them so much, I'm going to have them back on Friday. Yeah, great yeah. idea. Great idea. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Let's see how you do. That's what you do, by the way, if you're having sex with a tall woman who has very far apart breasts. <laughs> you like that, don't you, baby? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Anyway, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. Uh, happy birthday! Happy birthday to, I know a hero of yours, and a hero of mine, George Lucas, 70 today, the creator of Star Wars. 70 today? Wow, George. I know. Yeah. He didn't uh, bother celebrating the day. He instead spent the day making unnecessary changes to all his earlier birthdays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. uh, yeah. I don't really know no, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. But it's like a, like a joke, like a special Yeah, it's sort of like a joke, sort except in, in a joke, it's traditional to have amusement at the right. end of the sentence. Would... So... It's like a joke in the sense that it was constructed like a joke, but it missed that vital yeah, ingredient. Yeah, yeah. What's it called? Humor. 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 Anyway, it's a great day in Transylvania. Uh, when is it not? <laughs> <laughs> the 14th century Transylvania castle that inspired the book Dracula is for sale. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> I'm never having this audience no. back. <laughs> Personally, if I, I wanted a house that belonged to a creepy undead guy, I'd buy the Playboy Mansion. But... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must be tough for the real estate in Transylvania, though. It's like, the castle's a little on the dark side, and you might want to renovate the kitchen. It's filled with corpses. <laughs> but it's a great school district. Yeah, it's very really nice. It's reportedly selling for $80 million, but don't expect to haggle much. I've heard the current owner is a stickler with numbers. Do we have a picture of the... Uh... Yeah, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the, this is the thing that's really freaking me out. I heard this today, that researchers in England have found trace amounts of cocaine in London's water supply. <laughs> I know! <laughs> if that doesn't get the English to start brushing their teeth, nothing will. Can you imagine? That means everyone in London will have trace amounts of cocaine in their system. People will be walking around, all right, Governor, how's it going? All right. All right, Governor. Oh, it's like, oh, yeah, it's clean your chimney, clean your chimney, sir. <laughs> Apparently, Her Majesty the Queen is up to six glasses of water a day. Yeah. 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 Say hello to my little friend. My little friend who is a corgi. <laughs> Actually, my friend. <laughs> Isn't that astonishing? It's that well, we gotta, means we that people go. in London are doing so much cocaine that it's getting into the water supply. When are we going? <laughs> well, soon, I would okay. hope. All right, good, good. Do you know the, uh, the Coldplay singer Chris Martin? Do you know, you like Coldplay, right? Sure, yeah. Sure. You know, with the... <laughs> they are the uh, musical equivalent of kale. Kale, right. right. That's right. Yeah. 
they're, they're good, good band. Yeah, I and understand. Good band and good for you. Sure. Sometimes you're like, oh, this again. But, you know, at the same time, yeah, very good very and good. good for you. But apparently Chris Martin is dating again after splitting with his lovely wife, Gwyneth Paltrow, who became English through drinking water in London. That's true. Very true. She's one of these women that was started off as American and became English. It was her and Madonna. The, the, those are the two. Those yeah, are it's like, yeah. all right, Gavner, living in the material world. <laughs> Anyway, he started dating again, apparently. Oh, no, not dating. He is consciously going out to dinner with someone and then uncoupling with them after he's had sex with them. <laughs> <laughs> Am I a bitch? No, no. Uh, a little bit. Oh, no. A little bit. Well, a little no, bit. but I was quite be. bitchy. Yeah, it's a little bitchy bit, monologue sure. yeah, tonight. No, I, don't, I don't like it. I, I take it back. <laughs> what? The whole thing. Yeah, I take back the whole thing. I, take, I, I, renounce, I renounce the monologue there. <laughs> You know, it's not really a monologue if I talk to you for half of it. That would be a dialogue. That's a dialogue. Dialogue, that's a dialogue. yeah, yeah. Well, I, and then if I talk to the horse as well, that's a tri trialogue, trialogue. Then, isn't it? Trialogue, yeah. Or yeah. just a three-way between a, three -way. A, foreigner, <laughs> a foreigner, a gay robot skeleton, and a pretend horse. <laughs> that's why you're here, isn't it?